don't have too much thought on it. I just kind of think the book closes sometimes, so you better live it while you can. So you think at the end of this life, it's lots out, you become worm food? Yes, sir. Do you have any doubts as to whether you and I have a creator? I used to. I used to be real Christian. Now I kind of watched a lot of videos and got real into it. And just now I'm very spiritual. Science can tell you a lot of stuff. Sure, as a building has a builder and a painting has a painter, the tree must have a creator, right? Yes, sir. So you're not an atheist? I used to be. No, I'm not. So if we have a creator, are you doing anything that would be displeasing to him? Um, it depends what you call displeasing. So he's given us a moral law your conscience should agree. I'll walk you through it and see how well you've done. Fair enough? Go ahead. Have you ever told any lies? Everybody tells lies, but I'm probably the most truthful person you'll meet. Have you told any lies? Yes, sir. Have you not? Oh, I've told my share. Have you ever stolen anything? Yes, sir. Use God's name as a cuss word? I don't really believe in God, but yes, sir. Would you use your mother's name as a cuss word? I mean, no. You respect her? Yes, sir. So why do we use God's name as a cuss word? Because I'm not very a very godly person. Have you ever hated somebody in your heart to where you'd call them a name? Uh, I don't believe in hate like that. Have you ever called anybody a name out of anger? Yeah, of course. The Lord says even if we call our brother a fool, we're in danger of the judgment because it comes from a murderous heart. Do you know what capital punishment is? <laughs> no, sir. Capital uh, punishment is where a judge sentences someone to death for their crimes. And in like manner, you and I will die one day because we've sinned against God. Do you understand that? Yeah. All right, I'm cool with this interview. I'm sorry? I'm cool with it. I know it's just like one of them Jesus freak things. I'm cool. James laughs, making light of his sin, and hardens his heart, showing no signs of contrition. John chapter 3, verse 19 says, And this is the condemnation, that light has come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. John chapter 3, verse 16 says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Okay, so thanks for coming on again. Do I have permission to use this? Yeah, go ahead. So, what is it about Christianity that you do not like? Mainly the people. First of all, Christianity is a stolen religion, and then the people who uh, are Christians are just so two-faced, but uh, I don't believe in hate. I'm just not a religious person because it's all about money. I agree. I'm not religious either. You know what religion means? You're not religious? Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pause. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Pause. 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 Religion are man-made efforts to appease God. That's, that's what Christianity is. Man no, sir. Yes, sir. It's stolen from other religions. Christianity says there's not a thing you can do to appease God that you're condemned under His wrath presently. And without His mercy and grace... Uh, other religions. Christianity is stolen from other religions. That's a white people religion. Y'all celebrate a white God that's most definitely not white. Do you know where Jesus was from? Yeah, the Middle East. Do you know what race most people are from the Middle East are? Not white. Religions have caused more damage in this world than anything. White people have. White people. Uh, I don't believe in hate. Uh, there's a reason why y'all are called the white devil in majority of the religions. And people is just... Worlds, most the uh, ethnicities call y'all the white devil. So on Judgment Day, what do you think God's going to ask about yourself? I'm the Messiah. I don't know who you think you're talking to. <laughs> I'm not a Christian like I said. Y'all going to the rapture because I'm here. I'm the Messiah. There is a lot that can be said about this witness encounter. However, let's just keep the main thing the main thing. You may ask, why didn't I give him the gospel? The message of the cross is foolishness to those that are perishing. Until a person sees their sin nature in light of God's law and their need for a savior, they're not ready. Acts chapter 17 verse 30 says, 
And the times of this ignorance God winked at, but now commandeth all men, all men, all men everywhere to repent. Because he hath appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he hath ordained, whereof he hath given assurance unto all men, and that he hath raised him from the dead. Who is that man? The Lord Jesus Christ. And we'll be judged based on what we did with him. What should we do with him? 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 through 4 tells you, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel, which I preached unto you, which also you have received, and where you stand, by which also you are saved, if you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless you believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures. He was buried, and he rose again from the dead on the third day according to the Scriptures. You must receive the blood of Christ by faith as the finished payment for your sin. Romans chapter 10 tells you, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved.